Turning your pictures into talking animations is tons of fun. But you know what's even better? Turning them into 3D. With Crazy Talk 6, you can take any of your animated talking avatars into the 3D realm with a few easy clicks. First, just import any picture you'd like, or use one of the characters that come packaged with Crazy Talk 6. You can import and animate your own pictures or sketches easily. Even child's drawings can be made into eye-popping 3D animation. You'll have to define the head region first. You'll then have to define the various other parameters for your character's head, so Crazy Talk will know which parts to animate. The various settings buttons on your toolbars such as mouth and eye settings and detailed facial mode will help you create the most accurate animations for your character. In the face orientation area, you are given a selection of 9 different preset profiles. Be aware that the more protruding your profile is, such as a long snout or long nose, the more it will pop out in 3D. You can also increase or decrease the strength of the profile. However, don't go too crazy by giving a small nose character a long nose as this will make your resulting animation look a bit strange. You can choose a profile, click Preview, then move the mouse around to see how your character looks with your chosen face orientation profile. For animals with longer noses like this lion, you can select the long snout profile to make the nose appear more prominent in your animation. As you can see, the nose has a bit more movement now as opposed to characters with flat noses. This illustration shows how the strength of your character's profile changes its appearance. For this current project, the character is already separate from the background. Therefore, the area of picture movement is already defined as the picture of my character and the background are on two different layers. I'll explain more about layers later in the 3D section of this tutorial. If I access the background masking editor on my current project, the masked area is already defined. If I scribble over my character's face and click Preview, you'll see that he is suddenly missing part of his face, as it has become erased from the current layer. I'll bring in this handsome young fellow to illustrate how to mask the background on a regular picture. I can use the brush to define what area is part of the background and what is part of the character layer. I can also use the tolerance setting at the top but if the setting is too strong, I'll get more masking than I really want. It's useful for defining edges though. So why are background and character layers so important? It comes down to where your eyes are focused, called the convergence point. You can see from this illustration that the convergence point is the place where your views from both eyes meet when you're looking at something. The display distance value decides the convergence distance as you play back the output media. Let's take a look at the different layers in Crazy Talk. Layer A and B are reserved for SFX behind or in front of your character, who sits on the 3D avatar layer. When you select an area to mask as a background, it immediately gets sent to the rear layer and will appear more distant in a 3D render. Vice versa for SFX layers that get applied to the foreground, they will literally pop out in front of your character. Under the 3D Stereo Vision checkbox, you'll see an option to choose either anaglyph or side by side. Anaglyph format uses those glasses where one lens is red and the other one is cyan. It uses a slight displacement of the red and blue colors on the screen to create the illusion of distance. Side by side is a bit more advanced and requires polarized glasses to view properly. This technology projects two different images on the same screen, each at slightly different polarization, which creates a more realistic 3D feel. I'm going to add some SFX to my animation to increase the sense of 3D in my final product as well. To do this, I'll have to create some sort of dialogue for my character. I'll just use the text-to-speech editor this time. If I click on the Emotives tab, there are a wide variety of preset facial emotions that I can assign to my character as he's talking. You can also independently set your character's emotions at particular times by using the facial puppeteering technique included with Crazy Talk 6. Now, I'm going to add some SFX in the SFX swap channel. To add an SFX, first double click on the SFX or SFX swap channel. As you can see after I select it, it appears on my timeline in the SFX swap channel. If you look closely, you'll see a black and white box showing on the left side of the SFX swap channel. Clicking that allows you to toggle the SFX from the front layer to the rear layer. This is an important concept to remember when you want to do 3D rendering in Crazy Talk. 
I can extend my SFX by holding down the control button and dragging the edge of the SFX on the track. Now when I play it back, the animation moves a lot slower. This will provide a more vivid feel when viewing it in 3D. For more effective 3D videos, it's best that your SFX not move too quickly in order to give your eyes time to adjust. Finally, it's on to the rendering. As you can see, I have the 3D stereo vision box selected. Let's start with a high display distance, which means the convergence point will focus on the background, making all the frontal layers pop out more. You can also determine the length of your render by adjusting the time limit in your menu or on your playback bar. As you can see in our video, there are great results for the SFX and character in the foreground, as they tend to pop out above all the rest. If you change the display distance to zero like I'm doing here, the results will be less spectacular, as everything will essentially look like it's on the same plane. You can fool around with different elements and display distances to get the perfect result you're looking for. You can also take off your 3D shades and notice the difference between red and blue displacement when you adjust the display distance. Although I used a default Crazy Talk template for this example, you can easily render 3D animations of any picture. Even simple sketches such as this one can be used with great end results. It's so easy to use, even a child can turn their sketches into 3D animations. Both professional artists and young children can bring their sketches into 3D with a few simple clicks. Empower your senses with 3D stereo output in Reillusion's Crazy Talk 6.